Hello, my name is Daniel Dirsch, and I'm one of the creators of BimbleScript.com, and today I'm going to show you how to create a walkthrough. So the first thing you'll want to do is log into your account. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm logged into my account. So now I'll click on the Contribute button, and this will take me to the Manage Content page. Here I can see all the snippets, video tutorials, and walkthroughs that I've created. But what I'm going to do is click the Create Walkthrough button. This will take me to the Create Walkthrough page. I'm going to skip down to the metadata down here. And the first thing we'll see is the title field. Now we have a rule of thumb for the title, and that's that it should be as concise as possible, but as descriptive as necessary. So I'll call this one How to Create a Walkthrough. All right, next we come to the Tags field. Now each tag is delimited by spaces, so each one of these tags is its own tag. If you want to have a multi-word tag, you'll have to surround it in quotes. So this is a multi-word tag. All right, so next we come to the Summary field. Now the Summary field should describe the content of the walkthrough without going into too much detail. Now it might show up on the front page of BimmelScript.com, and it'll most definitely show up on the browse page where your walkthrough thumbnail is. So we'll keep our simple. We'll do learn how to create a walkthrough. Alright, next we come to the topics field. Now you'll want to select each topic that pertains to your walkthrough. None of these really pertain to mine, but I'll select these three anyways just as an example. Next, we come to the versions field. What you'll want to do here is select each version of Bids Helper and Mist that your walkthrough works on. So, say mine works on Bids Helper 1.6 and Mist 3.0, I'll select those two but leave the other two blank. Next, we come to the content area. Now, the content field uses a markdown editor. So, if you're familiar with markdown, you should have a pretty good handle on how to use this. If you're not, then don't worry. I'll describe how to use the editor even if you don't know too much about Markdown. So the first thing we'll do is I'll show you how to create a heading. So this is a heading 1. So we'll highlight that and make it a heading like that. Alternatively, you can also make a heading 1 by using a pound and saying this is a another heading one. Two pounds will make a heading two and of course three pounds and so on will make a heading three and however many pounds you give it up to six. Alright so next we'll create a t some bold text so this text is bold. Highlight it click the bold button. We'll make the text word italicized by clicking the italicized button and if you want to have text that is bold and italicized, what you can do is you can use three asterisks like this. And so this text is bold and italicized. And what we'll do next is we'll create a list. Now what we'll do is we'll create three list items. So list item one, list item two, list item three. So you'll select the entire list and then click the bulleted list or the numeric list. We'll just do a bulleted list in this case. Alright, the next thing I'll do is show you how to create a, a link. So you click the link button, give it the URL, we'll make ours point to Google. We'll give it a title, we'll just call it Google. Alright, and your link text to here. And this place is where you'll want to put your link text. So this link goes to Google is what we'll call it. And that's what will show up to the users who are, are viewing your walkthrough. All right, now we'll put in a code block. So our code block will obviously, we'll want it to make it Bimmel script. So we'll make a quick little Bimmel script right here. So Bimmel, give it a few slash Bimmel and then we'll give it a connection. To make 
this syntax highlighted, what we'll want to do is we'll want to select the entire thing and then click the code block button. And as you can see, it's now indented and that'll, that'll give it syntax highlighting later on. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to upload photos. So what you want to do is, you'll, I have some photos here that I want to upload. I have a koala, a lighthouse, penguins, all three of those, we'll put those in right here. All right. Once those are done loading, I'll show you how to use them. Okay, all three pictures are down uploading. So you can scroll or go to, you can toggle between each photo by clicking the next and previous buttons and alternatively you can also click the picture or you can just there's a list of each picture you've uploaded right here. Now, in order to get one of these pictures into your content area, all you have to do is click paste. And clicking paste will put it into the last cursor position. So if we want to put it right after, well, we'll put it at the very end. We can hit paste, and it's at the very end right there, koala.jpg. All right. And of course, if we wanted to put a picture of a penguin in there, we could do that as well. So now we'll go up and hit paste again. And there's our penguin. All right. So now that we seem to be done with our walkthrough, we'll click the preview button. And here we can see our walkthrough. It's not published yet. You're the only one that can see it. But here we see our headings, our bold text, our italicized bold text, our list, our link, our BIML script. You see it's syntax highlighted. And then our picture of our koala and our penguins. And then you can also see your tags and your versions right here. You can also see the multi-word tag and the individual tags, the topics. Everything's here. Now, if you want to publish it here, you can simply just hit the publish button and there now the whole world can see it. Now I'll unpublish mine and then go and edit it. And you can edit it as much as you want. Hitting save will publish it, hitting preview won't. All right, this concludes our walkthrough, so I hope it was helpful for you.